So what's up? What are we what are we doing exactly? Well damn relax. I wanna at least get to know you a little first. I'm not trying to be rude or so upfront. It's just that I wanna be intentional about moving things forward, you know? I know, but like we got turn forward. I'm not going anywhere. So what do you wanna know about me exactly? Well I guess, you know, what's your favorite color? Right? Orange. Orange is your favorite color? Yeah, my favorite color is orange. Okay, orange. My favorite color would have to be purple. Okay, that's cool. What else? Hmm. What city were you born in? I was born in New York City, but I was raised in Maryland. What else? Oh, okay. Okay, rude. I mean, I guess uh, my next question would be, how many siblings do three. you have? Three. I have three siblings. Okay, damn. My bad for Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? <laughs> what can I change? I want to talk about this going through the talking stage because I know it is very annoying to be going through the talking stage and how you have to keep going through it. As for my favorite color, what is this? What is that? Um, we made a video not too long ago talking about the couple that were only together 12 hours and they were already moving in and they were already engaged. That's too far. Okay, you do need to have some discussion. But I do think that at some point, the what's your favorite color? What's this? Okay, we're grown. Okay, my favorite color doesn't really matter. What we need to find out is, are we at least somewhat compatible to where we can even start working towards possible marriage? Okay, I'm not trying to date for a year. I'm not trying to date for eight years. I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to get to know you on uh, a superficial level. Let's get to the real questions. And I, I just think he does it in a funny way. Let's get back to it. Asking. Is there anything else? I mean, what, what, what do you like to do? I, guess, like, like, I like to bowl. I like to play basketball. I like to watch basketball. I like to go out and get drinks. I'm a drummer. I like to play a game called Rocket League. I like to sit outside. I enjoy reading books. I just enjoy abstract art. It's, you know, uh -huh. whatever. Is there anything else? Okay, well, I also like to watch sports, too. Didn't so. ask, but okay. That's cool. Excuse me? What's the next question? Yeah, I would like to know why you're being so rude to me. It's just that, you know, I'm, I'm really not trying to sit here doing this small talk, so... Okay, and I mean, how else am I supposed to get to know you now? It's like, I have to ask these questions so that... Okay, I... that's cool. We'll just do this. Do right. Come on, we're just going to get it out the way. Nah, what's, I... what's next? What other questions? Do you want any children? Do I want children? Yes, I want children. Wait, I mean, do you also have a number? Do I have a number of kids? I want, yes. I would like two, but, okay. you know, whatever happens, happens. Nah, but what, do I have a preference of boy or girl? No, I have no preference. I would love whatever comes out of my partner's vagina. It doesn't matter. Nah, but hold on. Where, where? where do I want to settle down at? I don't know. I have no clue yet. I'm still figuring that out. Uh -huh. That depends on my partner, nah. her life, her job, her responsibilities, and then we'll nah, figure that nah. out together. Do I believe that a woman should follow a man to whatever state he goes to? No, I don't believe that. It just depends on her life. Like I said, also, but, nah. every partner. Even I've seen that in a uh, normal life. Um, following somebody else to another state. I want to say this, uh, even I've seen married couples that they don't necessarily follow each other to a different state if it's not feasible. Sometimes the husband or the wife gets a job and well, normally it's the husband gets a job in a different area. You know, maybe he's part of the military or he's, you know, he's a, um, what do you call it? Like just some people who are freelancers or I know a man who is an engineer and sometimes he had to go to like Washington, so he had to go to Oregon and stuff like that. And so I think the whole wife should have to pick up and move everything. If her job can't do that. That just depends. Can the family survive without her job? If the family can survive without her job, uh, then I think you have to have the discussion of do you really want to keep doing this job? Or are you trying to build a career after this? I mean, it's very difficult. It depends on what you have the discussion about. It depends on are you okay with your your wife working and building her own career? Um, there are, Obviously, there's going to be some sacrifices with who's going to spend time with the kids. That's all discussions that you need to have in the beginning. So that's more of a nuanced question than just do I think the wife should move? At? There has to be some questions. Are the kids involved? How old are the kids? Is it going to be feasible to move the kids? Um, it, you know, it's just a lot harder to just say, oh, well, you know, just because she has a career, I'm going to go ahead and stay. And every person has their own needs and requirements and love language in a relationship. And it just depends on what that means for each person. I believe that each person should be with whoever makes them happy in life. Okay. There is no better over here or better over there. It just works with whatever it works with. And you should do what makes you happy. That's Wait, what I but now, I didn't even Do I have a job? Yes, I have a great paying job. I have friends, hobbies, family, relationships that I would like to keep. I enjoy my own time. I also enjoy time with a partner. 
just depends on what we got going on that day. Um, do, you believe do I believe in going 50-50? No, I don't believe in going 50-50. However, if that's something that my partner wanted to do, okay. it would not hurt my ego nor scar my feelings. If you wanted to do that, that is absolutely okay with me. I was just raised in a traditional sense, now, but it's completely up to you. It's your life. If you want to go 50-50, we could do that too. Now, but I'm completely comfortable paying all the bills on my own, and you could just sit and okay. do all your right. thing and save your own money, whatever you want to do. It's not my business. Well, what's your relationship? Okay, just some things that um, if you're gonna be in a marriage and you tell her she can do her own thing and save her own money, like that family, that money still needs to be able to go through the, be able to go to the family in the case that something wants to happen, you know, just in case the man loses his job for a little bit, they can use some of the money that the wife was using, you know, assuming that y'all both have savings. I'm just saying it shouldn't be a if everything goes downhill that the, that your money is almost useless to me, um, and go. I don't. I'm with him. I don't necessarily care about going 50-50, but let's be honest with ourselves. I'm not even going to sit here and um, act like there's times in my life I didn't have a job and my wife uh, had to somewhat provide for us because we were going through a big move and my job just got scrapped, right? And so she had to provide during that time. She had a job here locally, and that's just how that had to go. Um, but obviously, if I'm making the majority of the money, I don't care if she works or not. Um, just as long as we both know that she's not going to work. That way I can prepare myself and budget it out. Now, is it easier to do that when she's working? Of course, it's easier on us because it's not like I'm making six, seven. Uh, I don't know a lot of people making seven figures. I don't know a lot of people making six figures. It's just difficult for me to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I could just do it all by myself. It just depends on what you're trying to do in this life. You Could you build faster? I think you could get to a place where y'all could both not be. I mean, where y'all one person could be working. If y'all work together for a little bit, like while you're still young, let's say until before you turn 40, if she works for like 10 years, that helps build money up to where she can stop working and raise the kids and stuff like that. I think it's much easier to do that, especially in the economy today. It's a little bit harder to build a family and survive off one income. I think obviously you can survive off one income because everybody in the world at some point is probably going to have to survive off one income unless they decide to live with their parents, which is perfectly fine. I'm just saying, as far as the whole 50-50 thing, it just depends on how much money you're making. Um, that's the question you have to have, you know. I don't I don't think it's a big deal, but if you're making enough that she doesn't have to work, that's fine. As long as you're good at budgeting um, or you're making just such an absurd amount that it doesn't really matter what y'all do. That's just a question you have to answer, you know. I'm a Christian and I believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I would like to be with someone who shares the same religion as me. Okay, I mean, like, I, I just... Let, listen, uh, hey, wait, listen, wait. listen, let's just get, let's just get straight to the point, okay? What? Let's just get straight, straight to it. Straight to what? Like, wait, what are you talking about? Are we moving forward with this or am I just wasting my time? Wasting your time? Based on the questions that you asked and the questions that I answer, are we moving forward with this or is this all just a waste of my time? I don't want to waste either one of our time. What? I mean, I didn't even get a chance. I don't, I don't got another one in me. Please, I don't. Another one of what, Nas? What are you talking about? I don't got another talking stage, another getting to know me stage, whatever you want to call it. I don't. I don't got another one in me. Okay. I'm not wasting my time. I can't. I can't okay, but I'm. I'm. I'm also Move, are we moving forward or, or like are we good? What's up? Not if you're gonna sit here and approach me. Cool. Like appreciate it, big dog. What's this Nobody got time for that. I gotta agree with that. I keep forgetting to mute my mic. I have to agree with that because listen. <clears throat> Okay, okay, let me say this still because I know this is going to sound weird, okay? The way I'm making it sound is like you should just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, here's this, 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 this to this. Are we good? No? All right, goodbye. Okay, I'm not saying be a weirdo because that would be a hard way to start a conversation. But I think if you're into the third, fourth date, I think you should be like, okay, all right, I don't need to go into more dates. I don't like the whole... See, there's just something about growing up and being an adult, and people just don't want to do that sometimes. People just want to stay kids. Like, are you my girlfriend? Do you want to be my girl? <laughs> Come on now. Are we working towards marriage or not? Because that's all that matters. I'm not trying to have a girlfriend. I'm not five. You know, I'm not, well, not maybe not five. I'm not 16. I'm not 20. I'm a grown man now. I have responsibilities. I have a family I'm trying to build. I, I'm not sitting here trying to ask, do you want to be my girlfriend? That that doesn't mean anything to me. It's just a goofy question. It's like, are we working towards marriage or not? Okay, I understand that some people want to have a ceremony. Some people have family traditions of having a ceremony. Sometimes the father will pay for it. If you want to go through all that, fine. You know, obviously in uh, the Catholic in the Catholic faith, you normally have to go through counseling for at least six months, unless there somebody's going to the military or something like that, or something pushes it forward. But nonetheless, it may be six months before y'all get married. But even then, that's still six months. That's still a pretty quick turnaround. You get with the girl and be like, hey, so what's up? We want to get married. You're good. You're not good. I'm saying by the fifth, 
third to fourth day if you're both grown. If you're both 20 years old, okay, that's a different discussion, okay? Go go find a YouTuber that does 20-year-olds. But I'm talking about somebody who's an adult, okay? Somebody, I'm not saying 20-year-olds aren't an adult. I'm just talking about who's more, has been an adult for longer, has been through college, been through all the, the um, uh, what's your favorite color, blue? You know, been through all that plenty of times to know, hey, okay, I don't really care. If your color, your favorite color is blue, if my favorite color is yellow, who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't really mean a whole lot as far as marriage, okay? So... I think about the third or fourth date, you should be like, are we moving forward towards, are we moving like, are we, are we putting our foot on the pedal here? Are we going towards marriage? Because if we're not, I don't really feel like doing the talking stage much longer. There's, I mean, got other stuff to do. And this does take, a, it does take up time to be in a talking stage. It takes a time to, good morning, beautiful. Good night, handsome. I, I'm too old for that, man. I'm just too old to have to do that day in and day out. And for my folks who are married now, um, even me, I'm married. Do I text my wife, good morning, beautiful, good night, beautiful? No, because I'm right next to her the vast majority of the time. We have not spent one day apart since the day we got together, which is crazy to think about. But since we've been together, we have not gone a day without seeing each other. So it's like, I, it's, that's to the point where it's like, I don't feel like I need to do all this extra stuff. Now, if you want to do that, you want to do whatever you got to do in your relationship, cool, that's fine. But sometimes, uh, just because you're married doesn't mean life doesn't go on. You do grow up. You do you do have to pay bills. You still got other stuff you're trying to do. You're still trying to build a career. Um, you're still trying to make sure your family is secure in the next 10 plus years. You're still trying to uh, get life insurance, health insurance, car insurance, house insurance. It's just like there's a lot going on. I still got to work. You may have to be working 12-hour shifts while you're still young. It's just like there's so much to do that I it's hard to sit back and watch what you see on TikToks or watch what you see on Facebook of these couples making videos that you know is just goofy. It's like, yeah, those are like good times, but I think it's I think it's just like this this romanticization of what it means to be married, you know? Or what it means to date somebody. It's just it's just it gets old after a while. At some point you don't start thinking about, oh man, I'm just thinking about I get her the prettiest flowers. Sometimes you're thinking about man I really got to keep doing what I got to do to make sure my family stays afloat while I'm trying to get this going, man. You really start thinking about your wife as one. You know, y'all really are one. Like, what happens to me happens to her. So I got to be diligent in what I do. I can't go say stuff off the wall. I'm not going to do something that would hurt her. I got to I gotta make sure she's protected at all times. I got to make sure I'm providing, trying to do the best I can for my kids. You just, this stuff just goes through your head. You start thinking about your wife as just one instead of some object you're constantly trying to impress. You know, you, you're constantly trying her to get her to uh, put a picture of you on Facebook and say, this is my hobby. It's just stuff that you just get tired of. And so when you're going through the talking stage, the more you've been through it, especially if you've been married and divorced, you really don't want to go through all this extra stuff because it's hard to be in a relationship. Really, the older you get, it's hard to let somebody into your life. It's hard to trust people. So the talking stage is just so annoying because I don't care about majority of the stuff we're going to talk about. OK, we could talk about kids. That's obviously important. We could talk about religion. That's obviously important. We could talk about our beliefs. And that's obviously important. But as far as what's my favorite color, what's my favorite food, you know, all this kind of stuff that can be talked about within the marriage. If that's really that important to you, we could talk about that later on in life. But you don't need to know that about me in order for us to move forward. What does it matter? But anyway. Let me know what y'all think about this conversation. Do y'all hate the talking stage or do you love the talking stage? Or some of y'all people who stay in talking stages and never get out of it. You stay in situationships. Whack. All right. I'm going. Peace.